Lawful Sheriff Station, Deputy Shalef, I can help you. Hi, I'm calling from Joffrey's Restaurant in Malibu. Yeah. Um, we have a guest here who is refusing to pay her bill, and we think she may, I mean, she sounds really crazy, she may be on drugs or something. Um, we are wondering if someone can come by and pick her up. Okay, well, what's the uh, address there? It's 27400 mm -hmm. Pacific Coast Highway. And uh, is she a white, black, Asian, Hispanic? She's a um, young black girl. She's probably in her 20s. Okay, what's she wearing? She's wearing a black T-shirt and, I think, blue jeans. Is she with anybody else? No, it's just her. I am calling. I'm a little frazzled right now. I understand my daughter is being brought into the station. My Therese Richardson, have they made it to the station yet, and she's been booked. Okay, is, is, do you know where she's coming from? Uh, it's some restaurant out in Malibu, and I, I didn't even think to get the name. The okay, manager's yeah, name the is... Only, the only place we have somebody that's in custody that they just announced on the radio that they're coming up is from Joffrey's in Joffrey. Pacific Highway. It's okay. the only female that's being brought up to the station as we speak. They actually just put it on the radio right before you called. Okay, okay. I'm I'm her mother, oh, okay. and are you guys want to book her and then release her on her own re recognizance tonight because it, it's it's dark. She doesn't have a car, and I don't want her wandering out. I'm I'm totally just taken aback because this is so out of character for her. Yeah. And you'll see when she comes in, she she's well spoken. I think the only way I will come and get her tonight is if you guys are going to release her tonight. Yeah. If, if going to be held in custody for some type of arraignment tomorrow, mm -hmm. then I will wait until tomorrow. She definitely has no place, you know, I mean, she's not from that area, and I would hate to <laughs> wake up to a morning report, girl, uh -huh. lost somewhere with her head chopped off, uh -huh. so I guess I would have to come and get her, oh my gosh. Yeah, we're in a great house. The only thing is, at least in the station here, she will be separated, so nobody's going to be with her, uh, so at least that's, you know, the plus thing, so you don't have to worry about her safety. Uh, oh, yeah. No, I feel safe with her being yeah. in, in custody. It's being released, but I'm worried about it. It's, it's crazy out here. All right. Well, then I will more than likely call and touch bases with you guys a little bit later. Okay. Um, once yeah, she'll call you as soon as she comes in, too. Last little sheriff station. Here, can I help you? Yes. Good, good morning. My name is Latisse Bretton. I'm calling to follow up on my daughter who was brought in last night around 10, 30, 11 o'clock. Okay, let me chat through the jailer. Hold on, please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Rock Hill Station, Baumgartner. Yes, hi. My name is Latisse Batten. I called not too long ago regarding my daughter, my Therese Richardson. How long before a missing person's report can be filed? Is it 24 or 48 hours? That's normal. Well, it depends on the circumstances, but... Uh um, I, I didn't take your call, so I'm not familiar with it. Did she just not return home after going out? She was arrested last night. This is the first time she's been arrested. Um, she's in an unknown area mm -hmm. that she's never been in. She's without a vehicle. Nobody can find her. And, and where was this at? Where was she arrested at? Your your facility. Her name is Maitrice Richardson. Okay. Do, do you know if she's if she's here now, or was she released? They said she was released. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what time was she released? Um, at, at just shortly after 12 a.m. Yeah, normally I we wouldn't I wouldn't recommend doing one uh, that soon. Um, right. What is the time frame? You know, I I guess probably 24 hours would be reasonable. I mean, if, if there would be some some mitigating factors, you know, where, you know, you su would suspect maybe something, you know, well, not yeah. quite right. She doesn't know the area. She's never been in your area before. Where, where, do you, where does she live? She is unfamiliar with that area. Do she you think she possibly could have gotten a bus home? No. And oh, listen, my child has never ridden a bus. Okay. No. Right. She would not know how to ride a bus. <laughs> I would probably wait till you know, early this morning, and if she doesn't turn up, you can certainly call. I don't suspect anything um, bad happened. I'm concerned because, uh, well, first of all, I thought they were going to keep her overnight because she was highly intoxicated. Mm -hmm. um, something, so, so, something is obviously going on with her. Have you She's talked to the jailer? And yes. 
Yes, 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 I have. He said he tried to get her to stay, but because she was an adult, they had to let her go. I, I believe that she is highly depressed, um, and she, she, she's in a depressive state. You know, it could be possible that maybe she... I mean, there's a lot of options and I, a lot of possibilities, and I don't think all of them would be, um, you know, something dire. But I can certainly understand your fears, you know, being your daughter and all that. Well, um, I think she's depressed. That's what has me is more that what, That's worried that. you more than just her, okay. That and the fact that she's in an area where she doesn't know where she's at. Yeah, does so. she take medication at all? No, she. I, I believe it's a state that she's in right now because of just the, the weird activity that's been going on. What, what's, her name? Her day. what's her, her name? name is, her name is Maitrice okay. Richardson. Okay, and your name, ma'am? Latisse. Okay, Latisse. Here, here's what I want you to do. Let, yes. get, why don't you wait a couple hours and, and give us some time to kind of, I'll go back and talk to the jailer and try and get a timeline of, when she was released and, you know, make sure she's not asleep in our lobby or anything like that. And then once you give us a call back in a couple hours, if she hasn't shown up okay. or made contact with you, then maybe we can do something for you, okay? Uh, well, Sheriff Station Office, can I help you? Yeah, hi. Hey, uh, this is uh, uh, Smith at Cold Canyon. We had a prowler walking around through the backyard here, but we don't know what the situation was. I don't know if you had a unit in the area that might do a little drive-by or something. Okay, where's this at? This is Cold Canyon, like hot and cold in Monte Nito. Um, but it's in the back of the house, uh, which is right where Wood Bluff hits the hits uh, Cold Canyon. Uh, and then we just had a strange woman walking through the backyard here. It's a fairly large property, and she was sitting on the steps right, right in the back of the house here. Uh, this is kind of a circular driveway, and the gates were closed, so we don't know where this woman came from. You said the cross was Wood Bluff? Yeah, that's right. Uh, there's there's a, a horse trail, ac hiking trail access through here, but we've never had this kind of happen, thing happen before. <laughs> what she look like? White, black, Hispanic? Uh, uh, you know, a tall, slim, black woman with Afro hair. Uh, how tall? Uh, well, I, well, she was sitting down, stretched out on the wooden steps in the back of the house. Hard to tell, but uh, she looked like she might have been medium to slightly tall, uh, with a big Afro hair, very skinny. And I think she was wearing maybe jeans or tight pants with a T-shirt. You've never, you've never seen her there before? No, never. Nobody ever does that. I mean, the, the people hike on the trail all the time. We, You know, the trail goes through our property, but we leave it open on purpose because it's kind of a nice thing for horses and people. And you said she's laying across the, she was laying across the steps? or but She was sitting kind of sprawled out on the, on these wooden steps in the back of the house, right against the back of the house. She's yeah. since got up and left? Uh, she's since gone, yeah. She's been gone about five minutes now. But as we thought it over, we thought maybe a little drive-by wouldn't be a bad idea. And what direction was she, she last seen headed? Never saw her. She, well, once she left, she just dis disappeared. Uh, we, I moved from one window to another. I said to her, I, I hollered down, are you all right? And she said, I'm just resting or something like that. Uh, but uh, she's certainly gone out of her way to get to that close to the house because the, the hiking trail is not that close. It's on the ridge. All right. Well, since we haven't checked the area for her. Appreciate that very much. Not a problem, sir. Thank you. you Bye. Bye. Bye.